It's the 24th of February 2024 and you may have heard some apps like the TD UK app Cash Cleaner have been blocked on certain fire sticks with a particular update which has blocked ADB which has meant some apps like this just no longer work. Also some tutorials I've done in the past they no longer work especially ones that rely on remote ADB to be run from the fire stick or cube because they've blocked this ADB function locally it just just means that the apps and the commands just simply don't work but we have a workaround for you stick around all the details coming up shortly don't forget to like this video share it and subscribe to my channel doing these three things help us make more great videos for you so today, as I say we're going to show you a workaround around this ADB block now Remote ADB and many apps like the TD UK app Cash Cleaner no longer work because ADB has been blocked locally on the Fire Stick and Fire TV Cube if you've got the latest updates. Now, this doesn't apply to all Fire Sticks and Cubes. At the moment, I think Fire Sticks and Cubes running Fire OS 5 and 6 seem to be unaffected. And if you haven't got the very latest update or haven't been offered the very latest update, then you may not have this problem, but you may do one day if you haven't got it now, so just be warned. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can clear your cache without the TD UK app cache cleaner. I'd done a video on this before, but that was showing you how to do it from the Fire Stick or Cube, but now that's been blocked. I'm gonna show you another video which shows you how to get around that. Now, I've gotta say, you do need an Android phone or tablet to be able to do this. And also I should say, this will only work if you're running Fire OS 7. It won't run on Fire OS 5, 6 or 8 only Fire OS 7. And no, before you ask, I don't know a way of getting mouse toggle to work. So first of all, what we need to do is we do need to find out what Fire OS we're running. Now, even if you know, follow these instructions. So go back to the home screen on the Fire Stick or Cube and then go across to the settings cog just over on the right there. Once you've got that, go down and across to My Fire TV middle button and then go into about and just check over on the right there your software version now whilst you're in here we need to enable adb debugging even though it's been blocked it's only been blocked locally it hasn't been blocked entirely it's just been blocked if you try and run it from the fire stick or cube so what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have developer options now whilst you're in this menu here then just keep pressing the middle button on the remote control with the name of your device highlighted like mine is the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Just keep pressing the middle button like it's a mouse until you see no need, you're already a developer appear at the bottom of the screen. Once you see that, then stop pushing the middle button on the remote control. Press the back button once, then go down to developer options, press the middle button, then make sure that ADB debugging is switched on. As you can see, mine switched off currently, so make sure it's highlighted middle button. Press the back button once again, then go back up to about middle button and then go down to network. OK, and once you're in network, make a note of whatever is below IP address just over there on the right, just below the SSID section and above the word gateway, as you can see on the screen there. Don't copy mine down because yours will be different. Please make a note of this because you're going to need this in a moment. So just while we're here, I'm going to press the up button once and go to storage. So as you can see, before I've tried to clean out my cache. I've only got 0.97 of a gigabyte available to me. So let's have a look and see what happens after once I've cleaned this out. So let's just press the up button once more and go back into uh, this here. It doesn't matter if you don't do that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my phone on. And like I say, this has to be an Android phone or tablet it can't be an apple phone or tablet and what we need to do is we need to find the play store so as you can see mine is over there just under tuning and above facebook on the left hand side so tap play store 
then go up to search apps at the top of the screen there just next to the magnifying glass tap on that the on-screen keyboard will come up and then we want to type on the keyboard remote adb and there is a space between remote and adb okay once we've done that tap the magnifying glass in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and this is what we're looking for this icon here remote adb and the author is cameron goodman so tap install just to the right of remote adb let it install hopefully shouldn't take too long there we go once it's installed tap open tap OK if you get this dialog box come up about new key pair generated and this is where we need to type our IP address so tap where it's got IP address or host name and then on your keyboard type in there the IP address that you noted down earlier so I'm going to type mine as I say yours will be different don't copy mine once you've done that make sure that below it you've got 5555 then tap connect okay and then you should get this message come up on your fire stick or cube which says allow usb debugging go down to okay middle button and then hopefully on your phone or tablet you should get a command prompt now mine says cara yours may say something different now if it didn't connect now at this point your best bet is to press the back button on the remote control go down to restart restart it okay and then try and make the connection again now we've got this command prompt up on our phone or tablet what we need to type in here is pm space trim hyphen caches space 32 and a capital g now everything else is in lowercase apart from the g at the end so type it in as i've typed it in, in on the screen there so that's pm space trim hyphen caches space 32 capital G and there's no space between the 32 and the G so just as it's shown on the screen right there once you've done that then tap on the tick in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard on your phone or tablet and if the command has run successfully then hopefully in a few minutes they go you should have a second prompt the same as the first one so in my case another Cara appeared with a, a dollar after it and let's go in now to the about section on the fire stick again and let's go down to storage and see what difference it's made look at that it has cleared a shed load of data from the fire stick now the cache is only temporary data this is stuff that's not needed to run the programs it's just there as temporary data so it's it's okay to clear that it's not going to wipe any details out it's when you start clearing the data but the cache is fine and as you can see i had done that with great ease just a simple command there that allowed me to free up all that space you know more or less hot just over half a gigabyte so once you've finished with the adb shell on your phone or tablet just type exit and then press the blue tick in the bottom right hand corner and there we go it says connection terminated stream closed so tap ok and then just keep pressing the back button until you get back to the main screen on your phone now you can keep remote adb shell on your phone or tablet just for future use i would say do this probably once a month make it part of your routine obviously save this video save the link to this video somewhere if you haven't done so already make sure you've subscribed to my channel so you can find this e this video easier once again as i say only works on fire os 7 don't know a way of doing it on os 5 6 or 8 and i don't know how to get a mouse toggle back at the moment but working on it so make sure once again you're subscribed to this channel because as soon as i find out i will post a message or a video on my channel i hope you like this video and if it helped you out then please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you want to have a look through my amazon shop or you're looking for a new vpn fire stick fire tv cube or fire stick accessories have a look down below in the description we've got loads of great links down there for you subscribing 
donating or buying really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of videos for you right here, right now covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you're, when you're looking through my YouTube channel, you see something that you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might be interested in, then please share them on your social media timelines. And also, as I said earlier, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button right now. And if you like this video, then please hit that like button too. Also, if you want to get in touch with me, hit me up on Twitter. That's also known now as X at CWTEK. That's at CW. Tek or check out my website, which is cwtek.co.uk.